Hello everyone. So yes, I'm making a few videos these days on uh, working with PDF files because many people want to do these things and I think uh, it is my responsibility, my duty to share it because uh, I don't really want you to buy a software or pay someone else to do these simple things. Now, I'm sure you must have encountered this situation where you might have to convert a PDF file from color to black and white because sometimes there is a need for doing this. Maybe you are submitting an application for your passport renewal and uh, maybe for visa and maybe you need uh, to submit a document which is black and white but you don't really have a black and white document you have a colored one. Fortunately there is a way and th there is of course not just one way. I just want to show you show you or basically share a very simple script which is use, used uh, which is using here ghost script uh, which is another utility which I don't really think I've ever mentioned because uh, it is uh, something that I don't, I don't really use quite a lot but uh, if you don't re really have it installed I'm, I think I think you might already have it installed if not install it if you're using Arch Linux then most likely you will have to install it I guess if I remember correctly but uh, uh, first let me show you the utility so this is something that you can easily install uh, just search in your package manager ghost script and uh, the way it works is you can of course you know give this some input and it will of course give you the output or basically do the work for you um, now you of, you of course have to pass in some arguments i'm not really going to you know go through these settings some of these are uh, quite self-explanatory but uh, what I was doing actually, I was doing some search research online when I was looking for the best way of doing it. Now you can also do it, you know, the conversion using convert command. So if you do a quick quick Google search or whatever search engine that you're using, you will find a lot of options like, you know, uh, convert util utility, which actually works. But uh, uh, what I noticed with this utility is that it was uh, actually uh, reducing the quality of the PDF file, which I don't really want. I want to preserve the quality. And uh, uh, I, of course, tried a few other methods. So, you know, some people have written some scripts, which is, of course, nothing but uh, the same command that is mentioned here. So this is the command which I basically found. And uh, I tried. I mean, th the thing with Linux is that you have to keep on trying different things and use the one that works best for you. So for me, Ghost script works really well because uh, the quality was great. Uh, there was no, uh, I mean, if you reduce, if you want to reduce the quality, then of course that is a different thing. But uh, using Ghost Script, uh, it was only the, the the monochrome or basically the black and white that I was interested in without losing, let us say, what information was there. Maybe if it is a, it is an, if maybe if it is an image or a logo or whatever, maybe it's like a, like like some identity card. And, in, and you don't really want to reduce the quality when you do this conversion from color to to maybe gray scale and uh, for me this particular script works really well and i thought i'll probably share it with you and the way i work is in org mode because i use org mode i don't really search online right because i mean when you when you're playing with linux uh, when you have so many things that you have to do you will encounter different commands so you just need to maintain your own repository of these commands i mean of course search online but uh, searching online is not really going to work all the time. If you maintain your own notes, for example, if I show you this file, um, this is basically uh, like a huge file which I maintain where I basically keep track of uh, these things and I also write my own notes wherever applicable, wherever I have to, so that if I look, if I look at my command and of course if, if it is in org mode, then of course you can search, right? Let us say you are in the middle of something, you really need to reduce the size of your PDF files or maybe you want to um, send something quickly and if you don't really remember the command my recommendation would be to use uh, scripts so basically the same command that you have here maybe put it somewhere in your script so you you have access to your scripts right in your bin folder somewhere or maybe you know a local bin folder which is of course in your path so you have access to your scripts or 
just search i mean i don't really convert each and everything to a script because that is why i think a bit too much i just keep things as it is because i, I know i'm not really going to do these things every day if, if i'm doing something each and every, every day like you know making a video using ffmpeg so i don't really look at this command and copy and paste it i run, run a script by pass passing some arguments like you know the for example the, the the script i use to make a video like this i pass in the extension name which is mp4 uh, because i want to uh, also use the same script for doing something else so if, I, if i'm doing something each and every day then i have a script for it if not i have a repository of my commands with these uh, options so that is all that is all i wanted to share with you all of you today i guess you should know about these things at least uh, uh, you should be aware of how to search for these things and how to build your own knowledge base because it will help you it will make you happy it will keep you happy it will make your life better slightly better every day and that is what we want to do right all right so that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye